Here we have a simple GraphQL server that's using GraphQL Yoga to return an array of strings as results. You can see here in the resolver that we're returning an array of different strings and we are simply exposing this on slash API in our Next.js application. If we open the file tree, we can see here that we have an index page. And if we open this, we are using use query and we are fetching the results from the GraphQL API. Inside of underscore app.tsx, we are instantiating a new Apollo client, passing the URI to the yoga server that we created. And then we are wrapping our application with Apollo provider. Inside of index, when we load this page, this result will immediately be executed. If we refresh, we can see that immediately the query is executed and the results are updated on the screen. But below we have a button to get results. If we click this, nothing happens. What we want to do is use lazy query to then execute when we press that button. If we open the Apollo client docs, we can see that we have a hook use lazy query. If we scroll down, we can see the basic implementation of this. This allows us to add a button and then on click, we can call that function and pass along any variables. Let's now import use lazy query from Apollo client. You'll need to be using Apollo client three for this to work. If we scroll down, we can duplicate where we have results and we can change this to use lazy query. We'll need to update the variable name here from results. It will need to make this an array. Use lazy query returns a tuple. We can first declare get lazy results. This is the method we need to call when we want to execute that query. Then we can destructure things like the data, whether it's loading, anything about the network status and everything else you're used to when working with Apollo use query hook. Let's just bundle all of that inside of one new variable called lazy results. Next, let's take our result list and let's add this below our button. We want to take the lazy results now and we want to spread everything into this result list. If we go up, we can see here that we are destructuring data and loading from the response, use lazy query and use query. Next on the button, let's add a on click handler. And this is where we will call get lazy results. If you have any variables, this is where you would pass those variables in. We're not using any variables in this query example. So let's remove that. Now, if we refresh, you can see that we have one query that is executed as soon as the page loads. Now, if we click get results, we'll see that a second request is performed and we have the results here. 